It might have been the lowest box office showing in the past three months, but somebody has to come out on top. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrea Renee here for GetTheDaily.com, and it's time to look at what happened at the box office over the weekend. In the number one spot is Semi Pro with $15.3 million. Will Ferrell took number one at the box office, no surprise there, but come on, only $15 million? That's pretty disappointing, even for him. I guess people are just getting tired of seeing a middle aged man running around in little shorts, especially when he shouldn't be. It stars Farrell alongside Outcast Andre Benjamin and Woody Harrelson, among others. In the number two spot is Vantage Point with 13 million. This film stars a slew of great actors, but isn't quite resonating with audiences as much as they hoped. But hey, they're still at number two. Pretty good, I'd say. It's a suspense thriller about a presidential assassination seen from many different perspectives. I heard it has some cool chase scenes, so maybe that's a redeeming quality. It stars Dennis Quaid, Sigourney Weaver, Forrest Whitaker, Zoe Saldana, William Hurt, and Matthew Fox. And in the number three spot is The Spiderwick Chronicles with 8.75 million. This fantasy flick is hanging tough in the number three spot. It's not doing nearly as well as some of its predecessors like Lord of the Rings or Narnia, but 55 million is nothing to shake a stick at. It stars Freddie Highmore, Mary Louise Parker, and Nick Nolte. And in number four, The Other Bowling Girl with 8.3 million. Now, I could have guessed this film would be in the bottom of the top five, but hey, at least it made it there, right? It's a period piece set in England during the reign of King Henry VIII, and it tells the story of how he acquires his second wife. The Tudors is coming back to Showtime at the end of the month, so consider this a pump-up movie. It stars Eric Bana, Natalie Portman, and Scarlett Johansson. And rounding out the top five is Jumper with 7.6 million. It's hanging in the top five, way to go, considering you're full of crap. Okay, there are some cool action sequences and great filming locations, but that is all that is good about this movie. I'm sorry to say, it's just not so good. Major plot holes and some terrible acting make this a must wait for DVD flick. It stars Hayden Christensen, Rachel Bilson, Samuel L. Jackson, and Diane Lane. And that's it for the box office recap. For GetTheDaily.com, I'm Andrea Renee, and be sure to check back later in the week for details on new releases.